Wonderful. Well, it's so good to see you all uh, this morning. Like I said, if you weren't able to be with us last week, we've just started a two-part mini-series looking at this idea of do not worry. Can you put your hand up if you're worried about something already this morning? Can you put your hand up if you're not awake this morning? Yeah, okay, that, that correlates. So if you were awake, I'm sure you'd be worrying. We all worry about things. How many of us worry about really big things in the world? How many of us also worry about really small things that on one level don't seem to be that important, but actually we spend a lot of time worrying about them? I do as well. Well, like I said, if you weren't here last week, I think we all agreed, and we've done it again this morning, that all of us worry from time to time. All of us have anxieties. All of us has, have fears. And Beth reminded us last week, can anyone remember, if it's on your mind, where is it? It's on God's heart. And so today, what I want to look at is how can we know peace? Because Jesus says, do not worry, which sounds great for Jesus, but it also has a risk of sounding a little bit glib, a little bit too easy. But the truth is, Jesus can say, do not worry, because he gives us his peace. And the Bible says the verse that's going to come up, a verse from Philippians, which is in the New Testament, chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. Next one, please, Nick. It says this. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all, because the Lord is near. Here we go. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every, that means every, as in don't pick and choose, every situation, by prayer and petition, With thanksgiving, who feels like being thankful when they're worried? With thanksgiving, give your requests to God. So our job is to give our requests and our worries to God. And what he says is, I will give you my peace, the peace of God, which goes beyond all understanding. It doesn't make sense, the peace that we can know. He will give us his peace and that will guard our hearts and minds in Jesus. And so today, I want to look at how we can know our peace, know Jesus' peace. And that means no matter what life throws at you, no matter what is going on, even if you're in the middle of something, you, we, can know peace and joy and hope and love because where does that peace come from? God, it comes from Jesus. That peace comes from Jesus, not from ourselves. So I'm going to need someone just to help me uh, for a little while. So could someone maybe just come up and give me a little... I'm not going to do anything scary to you. Don't worry. Reuben, have you come. Thank you. Just come and stand. In fact, you come and stand where I was. Wonderful. So what happens when we worry or when we're afraid? We can be living our lives quite happily, and then something comes up which causes us to worry. So maybe we're worried about school. Just hold on to that. Put it in your arms. Maybe we're worried about school, and we hold on to those worries. Or maybe we're worried about money, and we hold on to those worries. Maybe there's some bigger things. Maybe we're worried about wars and things going on in the world, and we're worried about those. Maybe we're worried about our health, and so we worry about those things and hold on to those things as well. Maybe we're worried about things that might seem small, but like, am I going to make the football team? Am I going to have friends to kick a ball around with? Just hold on to them all like that. And you see, the thing is, with all these things that we were... Hold that ball there. There we are. The thing is, before... Uh, all, all these things we hold on and we worry about and we juggle all this stuff and it kind of weighs us down. Not only does it weigh us down, but it stops us from being free. It stops us from being free because we're all caught up. You see, when we're worried and when we're scared, we look inwards and we hold on to stuff. And Actually, psychologists tell us that we do several things when we worry. Firstly, they tell us something called denial. In other words, Reuben going, oh, there's nothing to worry about. It's okay. I've got this. Or sometimes avoidance. Reuben going, it's okay. I'll just think about something else and pretend I've not got all this stuff to balance. 
sometimes a big word, repression. It's like Reuben saying, well, it's no big deal, really. It's just life. Everyone's got this stuff. We just carry it around. They don't matter. Or sometimes obsession. In other words, looking at all the stuff and just trying to figure it out and solve it. And we spend all our time looking at our worries and kind of think, I'll solve it eventually. And so, for whatever reason, when we worry, and there's a lot of stuff we can worry about, we hold tightly onto these things, and we don't let them go. And you can see it stops us from being free. Our worries stop us from being free to move around and enjoy life fully. But it also stops us from receiving good things as well. So Reuben's arms are full and so he can't catch. And when we're full of worry, it kind of means we can't receive the good things that God wants us to see. When we've got our arms full, when we're full of worry, it means that when God or others want to show us their love, we can't catch and we find it hard to receive. When God wants to give us his joy or we want to kind of experience life in its present. We can't receive it because our arms are too full, our lives are too full on our worries. So what do we do when we're consumed by worry? Well, Philippians, those verses say, in every situation, present your requests to God. It might look like this. God, I'm worried about fitting in at school and give it away. God, I'm worried about my health. Would you help me? God, I'm worried about all these things. Would you take them off me and free me from my burdens. And can you see now Reuben is free to receive. When we give our worries to God in prayer and petition, we're now free to receive his peace. We're free to receive his love. We're free to receive his joy. We're free to receive those things. And the same psychologist who I mentioned earlier said there's three things we can do to help relieve worry. And I love it when scientists, these big scientists, come up with stuff that the Bible has already been saying for years. These three things. Be held in loving arms. When we're worried, be held in loving arms. What arms are greater and more loving than our fathers? Cultivate a soothing inner voice. What voice is more soothing, more gentle, more loving than that of Jesus living in us? Recognise what you're holding, get rid of it and make way for positive emotions. In other words, what can be more positive and life-changing than the fruits of the Holy Spirit living in us that God wants to grow in us? Love, joy, kindness, gentleness. And that passage in Philippians goes on to say, the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. You see, Reuben is now free to receive everything that God wants to give him. And I've got one more thing for you to hold. You see, now Reuben is free. God gives him his peace. And that means, and we're not going to do it, but if we had loads of stuff and you all pelted it, loads of things that Reuben could be worried about, then suddenly he's got the peace of God, which means he doesn't need to catch and take on those worries because the peace of God, it says, will guard his heart and his mind in Christ Jesus, leaving Reuben free to receive love, and joy as he hands his worries to God. Do take a seat, Reuben. And of course, it's what we see Jesus do on the cross. 
Jesus, as he went to the cross, was so full of worry and anxiety and heaviness and holding all our worries and all our sins and all our fears. But what does Jesus do on the cross? He opens his arms wide and he allows and trusts God with all the stuff he's carrying. And it's because of that that you and I can give him all the stuff that's weighing, our down, weighing us down and instead receive his peace.